up y'all and welcome back to another one it is archery turkey opener Woo! it's beautiful sitting right at like 58 degrees it's supposed to get up to like 73 today absolutely gorgeous day finally it was just two days ago and uh, all my dog bulls iced up again but crossbow time Gerald he brought his crossbow for me to use that's right we're with Gerald again we're always with Gerald there she is there's the beauty and there's the local beauty. <sighs> local beauty. <laughs> the local beauty. Majestic. Just to let you guys know, old Gerald, he's going to be our main guide at the lodge. Are you excited or are you like, God, I'm going to dread working with you all season? Oh, no. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll love it. It'll be a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun, man. A lot. For all the clients that have booked, I haven't told y'all yet, but Gerald, he's the main guide, man. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. We're already wrapping up a ton of new ground for you, and there's a lot of new ground to come, let me tell you. But before we get into today's video, if you guys wanna help support the channel because YouTube has been <laughs> my hunting videos quite a bit, it's not fun. I haven't been enjoying that part of it. If you guys wanna help support the channel, you know what to do. Go down in the description below. I will link all of the Ducks waterfowl gear. Whenever you guys pick up something, it goes directly to helping me bring you more more of these videos i appreciate you if it wasn't for you guys helping me like that this youtube channel would not still be here i'm serious y'all i know i'm talking standing in the same spot but this is why it's dark out y'all <clears throat> i'm not gonna have much of a light going in we're gonna get set up and as the sun comes up uh, I'll open up the vlog again show you where we're at the whole nine yards but like you guys know turkey hunting you got to go in blind you got to go in in the dark you got to be quiet Let's get set up. We're not even taking a blind today. We shouldn't need it. There's one bird roosted for sure. And uh, hopefully he pitches down, gets mad at the decoy and comes beating up. Yeah. Beating it up. Beating <laughs> it up. Well, here we are. Sorry if it's windy. 646. Okay, sunrise is in about 20 minutes. We got the decoys up. We got in here about a half mile walk in. Uh, as the daylight comes in, as the sun comes up here, I'm gonna have to be quiet though. This is our little sitting spot. Gerald picked a tree. We went and grabbed some evergreens through in front of us. Little makeshift blind. I think it's gonna work. Now that tree. Is he? Yeah. You can hear him? I've heard him gobble three times. He's there. Roosted on the east side. Well, this is my sitting spot right here. He's back here rutting up. What are you doing, man? Trying to move all them sticks that might break underneath him before the turkey comes. So, we're here. We're ready. Got the old unit ready to go. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can get it done this morning. It'd be amazing to get uh, the one turkey I'm allowed here in Kansas. You are allowed two, but it's only in two different sections of Kansas. It's pretty remote. It'd be awesome. Opening day archery to get it done. Well, it's getting close here. Should be coming down out of the roost at any moment. I'll tell you, wielding this bad boy, I'll tell you what, it it uh, gets me all antsy. I'm not used to it. If it was a shotgun, I'd probably, just, I'd probably be taking a nap wait. But this thing, it's like a new territory. Feels, feels a lot different, but boy howdy, she's a beast. Well, first spot didn't work, eh? What's the uh, what's the strategy? Well, they're going the way they normally don't go. <laughs> That's <laughs> always good. It seems to be pretty par right there. So we're going to back out, go around, try to get in front of them. Way behind me, this lens won't do any justice. But way over there, that tree row, they're way over here right now, and they're going to be headed back. We're going to try to meet them. Basically at a basically at their roost tree pretty much here we are we're gonna make our way along this creek tell you what one thing about turkey hunting low stress don't have a thousand decoys like waterfowl hunting I'm loving it and it's warm and you got beautiful little views like this Kansas turkey hunting it don't get no better in the spring beautiful weather seems like it's always windy every hunt uh oh, check it out. That one's been there a while. Little guy. Little guy. Cool. Well, at least we're not skunked. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that. Deer all throughout here. 
I mean, this is deer heaven in here. That's a new Tom, so uh, we got the Tom at about 100 yards behind us. I just tried to grab for my glasses. I don't have my glasses on, Bob. But trying to pull him this way. This is our new scent spot right here, up against this log, this evergreen. Right here, baby, we got the decoy. Right there. so close that was so 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 close it's right here he was right behind that big tree right there I was waiting for him to come on the edge right around that I was waiting for him to come right around the side of that tree he busted me he must have seen my foot move or something oh no because he I mean he was like 10 yards he loved it he came up to oh, it yeah, pretty he quick was, he was excited his piss is what it was <laughs> He was pissed. The hens are still behind us. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought it. I thought I was done. I was shaking pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Did you see me shaking? No, I was trying to focus the camera. <laughs> Gerald was running this. I'm over here trembling like a leaf. I didn't think I'd have a problem, but when you get one close, boy howdy. Especially if I had a shotgun, it wouldn't be so bad. But wielding the, that crossbow, it's a whole new, it's a whole new deal. So, not having built-in comfort, yeah, well, confidence goes down a little bit with it. <laughs> live and you learn, live and you learn. I had to, just had to pull the camera out of the backpack. This is why, I check it out, second one of the day. Gerald, you got an eye for these dang things, dude. He can see them, this is a nice one, wow. Look at that. That's a real nice one. Whew. That's a decent one. That's like the first ones you found. Oh, squirrels are already starting to chew on it. Oh, squirrels chew on them? That's yeah, what squirrels, that is? Squirrels, mice, they eat them up. Uh, dang. Twice we've came here and that's what, the sixth one? Uh, fourth horn in that dead head. Yep. Freaking awesome. Dear heaven, I am not kidding you. At least we're not going out of off this property empty-handed today. <laughs> I think my heart's still thumping from earlier, man. Yep, that's what's up right there. And we're good. Kind of eases the pain a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> it does, it eases the pain. It's the butter. Yep. It's the butter on the tongue. Uh, next spot, we saw two in the field up yonder. We're gonna try to roll in behind them. Uh, got about a, I don't know, quarter mile hike. Maybe half mile hike. <laughs> I'm gonna go with half mile. <laughs> well, here we go. Round number two, we spotted three turkeys. One of them's a tom, sitting out about <clears throat> probably 100, 120 yards away. Um, this is where I'm at, as you can see. There's Gerald right there. Uh, we have a dike right here, so we're on this side of the dike. The birds are on the other side of the dike. And it is a bare crop field, just a bare dirt crop field. Uh, that's where they're at, so. Wish us luck yet again. Come on, let's get it done. Be awesome. He says they're coming. Here we go. If they do come, girl said they might be Jake's. He said it's up to you. I think uh, if I get a Jake, at shootable distance with this crossbow, it's worth trying it. This crossbow's not easy. To a lot of y'all, it is easy for me, not so much.
good shot. filming for nine minutes and 23 seconds on this GoPro. That's awesome. Oh boy, I'm still trembling. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <sighs> oh my God. So, like I said, he's not the biggest Tom in the world. He's, that's a Jake, isn't it? Jake. It's a Jake. But with the crossbow, like I said, I'm gonna take what I can get. That was epic. Oh, not after the biggest one. Just really, I really wanted to get it done with a crossbow. Gerald, uh, he talked me into it a couple days back. He's like, dude, as much as we're gonna be hunting turkey, uh, you only get one shot, just tr tr you gotta try it with a bow. We got her done, look at that. Right, man, oh, I split his, I sp it split his wing. Yeah, literally a perfect shot. Was it? Yeah. Boom, right there, squared him up. Two feet, he shot him like, there's just kick marks. Yeah, boom. He went flop, flop. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Not the biggest in the world. He is a he is a Jake, like I said. But what an absolute breathtaking experience that was, dude. That that's uncomparable, man. That's different. I'm used to waterfowl hunting, man. I had to hold still for dang near 10 minutes like steel still still they were could not move they were right there on the ridge line yeah, I, th I figured they would come up this and just right. shoot right down they and went they when they gobbled they were over there and then they shut up and then i tried getting them to gobble again and i looked right out of the side of my eyes just Poof. did you hear them drumming did you hear yeah, what i was talking that, about that's weird mm -hmm. it sounds like a distant like car or something mm -hmm. yep like you hit the rumble strips yeah, from a long ways exactly away. What it is, yeah. Drumming. I, that's the first time I've experienced that. As you all know, uh, this is the third turkey that I've ever shot. My first one was with Gerald. And now this is my first one with a bow. Really How really awesome. Closer. Yeah. So this is where he got shot. See the kick mark? Boom. And right there is where I was sitting. Right there. It's like literally 10 to 12 yards amazing they actually came right down here so they were on the dike and then he came right in between here boom that was amazing that was a rush i'm still feel like a new man dude feel like a different human being <laughs> <laughs> Woo. well we are back home got my bird all cleaned up I don't show the whole cleaning process of animals anymore because you know why. Y'all know why, YouTube. They don't like that stuff, obviously. But we're back home and it is literally 78. I bet you it's 82 degrees right now. Every bit of it, if not hotter. Here, right here, come on. He knows what's about to happen. Sit down, sit, sit. You know what's gonna happen, dude. Look, we even got hot water. We'll make it a little warm for you. Yeah, the house, the new house, comes with hot and cold water spigots outside. How awesome is that? Uh-oh, sit, sit, no, sit. Sit that butt down, boy, sit, sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, look at him, poor puppy dog, poor puppy dog getting a bath. There you go, buddy. Well, I'm about done here, there you go, buddy, you're all done. There you go. Oh, that's a Freddy. 
But something way better than a catch clean cook. I have a surprise for y'all. It was an extra surprise for me. I could, I did not expect to actually capture this on the trail cam. Check it out. So here we are. We have some deer on the trail cam. Check it out. I'm just going to talk while we look at them here. Uh, at one point, we had up to see there is four deer right there. That is at 9 o'clock at night, in between 9 and 10. Uh, if we keep going, three more, 10 o'clock, and right there, that is our first sign of a coyote. Check him out. I knew one, I knew we had one behind the house, but there he is. There's a first picture of him. There's a second picture of him trying to attack that turkey decoy, I think. And there is a third picture. He's still kind of stalking that turkey decoy there on the left side. Yeah, nine o'clock at night. Second picture was at one in the morning. And then right here, this is an odd picture. You see two, you see the coyote on the left still, but something right behind the turkey decoy. There's, I can't, I can't tell if that is two coyotes or what exactly that is behind the turkey decoy. Uh, if you guys have a guess, if you guys think that's two coyotes, drop a comment down below, let me know. Uh, but I just can't tell what that is. And then here is another picture of two deer real close. We have up to five deer on the property every night. And then there is the other camera right there. This is my bait pile camera, as you can see in front there. We got uh, my dead spoonbill fish head uh, that I ended up cleaning a few weeks ago. But there is the coyote, a coyote in fact, on a different camera. So if that tells you what I'm gonna be after now that I got my turkey on the ground, that coyote. I really, really wanna get after that coyote. I tried once, but I didn't try hard enough. We need to get her done. So if you guys wanna see that video, drop a comment down below and let Fred and I know, the old clean dog, Obviously, Fred can't go coyote hunting with me, but we want to know. But thank you all so much for being here. I, I had asked you guys prior what you guys wanted to see more. The 410 turkey or a bow. Uh, I had never taken one with a crossbow. So, uh, wasn't the biggest turkey in the world yet again. It was just a big old Jake. But again, the crossbow, it's not easy. It wasn't easy. I had the shot and I took it. We only get one turkey here in Kansas. So uh, I might actually be able to get two up in a different section on some public ground. If you guys wanna see that, let me know again. I've asked you guys too many questions. Thank you for being here. Be sure you subscribe, y'all. And a huge shout out to my notification gang. Hit that little bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload so you won't miss one. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm out here giving it my best for y'all. I hope you guys really like these videos. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism.